what is good everybody it's bbk dragoon coming at you today with some more halo the master chief collection thanks so much for the support on the last video it actually <laughs> way surpassed any expectations that i would have had it seems like there are quite a few people really interested into what's going on with the development side of the updates with the master chief collection patched up this spring i'll keep following it i'll keep you yeah, in the loop i know i'm in the insider program thing so if i get the chance to try out the patch i know they're they're gonna be testing it out very selectively and pretty small but if i do end up getting to test some of those uh, patches out i'll let you know what i think of it overall um master chief collection actually seems to be in a fairly good state it could be better of course but I'm kind of surprised at how often and how quickly I'm finding matches. Now granted, it really is more like the Halo 3 collection because that is what gets voted in 95% of the time in any of the playlists that have other options for different Halo games available. But hey, I've been having fun and I know you guys are enjoying the clips, so I appreciate it. Let's talk about Halo in 2018, what I think is coming down the pipeline. So this last year we had Halo Wars 2. If you didn't get the chance to check that game out, it was a pretty fun RTS. I'm like an old school, diehard StarCraft fan. And Halo Wars 2 is this really kind of casual, fun romp of an RTS game that had killer graphics, great art style, reminded me completely of the classic Halo art style, and brought my encouragement level back up quite a bit for the future of the Halo franchise. Now, in 2018, the rumor is that 343 has two Halo games under production. That rumor comes from the guy who predicted pretty successfully Microsoft's 2016 E3 conference last year, right? The guy leaks what's gonna be shown before it happens, and it, it had a fairly good accuracy rating. Like, I think he was pretty spot on with that. And the rumor is that there's two Halo games in development right now. This is gonna be pure speculation on my part about what could be, but I mean, honestly, guys, don't give too much credence to these leaks and speculative things. It's more just a fun conversation starter and things where we can talk about what do you think's happening this year? So with that said, I do think that you're going to see something obviously at E3 this year for Halo 6. Probably short cinematic trailer, but you're not going to see Halo 6 this year. That's my two cents. That's just my opinion. Halo 6 is one of those things where we obviously know we're going to get a beta. That's been confirmed by Bonnie Ross. All Halo games moving forward past MCC will be getting betas and have so far. With that said, the Halo Wars 2 beta actually happened ridiculously far in advance, the summer before its February release. So I think you're going to have a very long runway between the launch of Halo 6 and the beta. I remember the Halo 5 beta taking place. I think the insiders got it around December. Was that it? Like December 2014? And then, I mean, look, until the fall of next year when it actually came out. Speaking of which, I still have, it's not on this computer, but I still have some old Halo 5 beta footage from the old lighting effects and stuff back when the game was running 720p. There's some elements of the game that actually looked better, and I know I think Late Night Gaming has done some cool videos on that worth checking out. If I can find it, I'll put the card on screen right here. So then if no Halo 6 this year, just a cinematic trailer, will there be a Halo FPS releasing this year? And I certainly hope there is. If there are two studios involved in making Halo games at this point, in my dream world, you have two unique directions for Halo. The mainline trilogy, Halo 6, continuing with the advanced mobility system, continuing with that sort of philosophy of movement in Halo. And then maybe we have another studio creating on the off years, another Halo FPS title, where the multiplayer gameplay perhaps resonates more in a classic world, a not as much advanced mobility world. I don't know if that'll work. I don't even know if that's a thing, but maybe that is worth exploring. Another option that I know a lot of people have been talking about, I think Ubernick just talked about this a few days ago too, would a battle royale mode work within Halo? And I initially thought about this and I was like, that's kind of silly. You know, Halo is so dependent upon respawns. That's what it, the entire game really is built upon. Breakout never... <laughs> Never really did that great as a game type in terms of popularity. I know some people did enjoy it, but for the vast majority, I think it was sort of like, I don't know, limited respawns don't always make sense. But then if you start actually thinking about all the vehicles in the sandbox of Halo and sort of the concept of that ODST drop pod, I begin to think that actually Battle Royale could probably work in a Halo world. Speaking of that, Josh Holmes has just basically unveiled over at his new studio the game that they're working on. So Scavengers is a new PvE, PvP, all-in-one-together, 
kind of battle royale game. They're calling it the spiritual successor to Warzone. And this is at his new indie company, Midwinter Entertainment. Now it's really early days for that game and we've only seen a bit of concept art for it. I'd love to talk about it in a full video at some point, but you've got Josh Holmes, if you guys didn't know, he was the previous executive producer on the Halo franchise. He left to create Midwinter Entertainment with a few other people. It's a very small team and they're basically doing in Scavengers what is the spiritual successor to the Warzone game mode from Halo 5. With that in mind, you've got basically a battle royale, a team battle royale game where you also have to contend with PvE monsters on the battlefield. And in some ways, that sounds really stinking cool. And the reason I bring it up is in the Halo universe, imagine landing, grabbing yourself a mongoose with your, your buddy, and then you're going over to try and get this power weapon drop that's happening at this point on the map. There is definitely potential there for a battle royale game type within Halo. However, it, it doesn't, it would need tweaking. It would need something more than just what I can picture on the surface. So that is my two cents on what I think is actually coming down the pipeline this year for Halo. Something that is an offshoot that will likely be released this year. I'm hopeful there may be nothing this year. You know, that second game could be something that's like a 2019 or a 2020 kind of a release. I do think Halo 6, you'll see the cinematic trailer for, but I don't think you're having it released this year. I think next year is the actual release of the big title. What I'm most excited about, to be honest with all of you, is the fact that it's pretty much gonna be on PC, right? They've confirmed, Phil Spencer has confirmed moving forward that basically all first par party titles will be on the Play Anywhere program, meaning most likely the next Halo game will be launching simultaneously on PC. And that gets me extraordinarily excited. There are a lot of players, a lot of older players who played during Halo 2 and Halo 3 that have moved into the PC gaming sphere who aren't gonna pick up a, a controller ever again for an FPS game unless they absolutely have to. And having Halo accessible to this entirely you know, massive community of gamers on PC is going to be a big shot in the arm, I think, for Halo. That's my two cents. I'd love to know what you guys are thinking about the future. What do you think is coming down the pipeline? I know this is pure speculation. There's not a lot of evidence to go off of just yet, but I do like thinking about it because we're not far away from seeing new Halo press materials. Mark my words, come E3 in June, you are going to see some stuff and maybe even a little bit sooner than that with hints here and there. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by thumbing it up. I'd like to hear your thoughts in the comments. Subscribe for more. We've got Warframe, Destiny, Halo, and even some Monster Hunter World cooking in the oven. Have a great rest of your day, and I will talk with you next time.